What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. To all you new viewers, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you know when we do all these unboxing and first hands-on videos. And for all you returning viewers, make sure you hit that subscribe button also. Make sure you also thumbs up and leave a comment down below in regards to this video. I wanted to do a quick unboxing and a first hands-on for the ZTE Quartz Android Wear 2.0 smartwatch. Uh, right now, T-Mobile actually has it on sale for less than 100 bucks. It's $96 brand new. Um, it might not be the newest smartphone in the market or smartwatch on the market, but it is actually not one to be overlooked. It's got IP67 water and dust resistance built in. It's got cellular connectivity. It's got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS. Uh, it's actually pretty loaded up. It's got the typical Snapdragon Wear 2100 processor, um, a 500 milliamp hour battery, which I'm excited to put through the paces because that is actually one of the larger batteries in a smartwatch I've seen. Uh, it's got 768 megabytes of RAM, 4 gigs of storage. Uh, like I said, it has GPS, it has Wi-Fi. Uh, it's loaded. The only thing you're really missing is NFC uh, and an ambient light sensor. Unfortunately, it doesn't have those. But for $96 for a full circle smartwatch, I believe it's got, oh, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. I want to say it's a 1.4 inch AMOLED display with a Gorilla Glass 3. So they did not skimp on the specs on this watch. For anyone looking for one or wants to try out an Android Wear 2.0 smartwatch, this might be the one y'all need to check out right now. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what comes in the box. Kind of give you a comparison to see what it looks like in regards to uh, size with my Movado Connect. I was very excited to see these. They are in abundance and demand though. They have them you can order online over telesales. The stores are running a little light on them. But like I said, I was lucky enough to, uh, to stumble upon one today. And there we go. A little larger on the size and thickness. There is no heart rate monitor either, which you can see in the back there. The band feels a little thick. Without wearing it, I can't tell how it's going to feel, but that's the other awesome thing about this. The bands are actually replaceable. Use a replaceable at that. They simply have those normal pins you're used to seeing now, and any watch band will work with them. Let's go ahead and fire this up and see if it'll turn on. Nope, unfortunately it looks like it does not have any power. That's alright, we'll set this aside for a second. Go ahead and finish this unboxing. We have a typical micro USB to USB cable, all your literature, and the charging dock, as well as the wall plug. So it is not a wireless charging watch. It looks like it's just going to have to sit on the dock. It has a little magnetic connection, it feels like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this through the paces, guys. Hopefully it'll, uh, it'll do its job. For the price, like I said, it cannot be beat. $96. You can see it next to my uh, Movado Connect. Um, it is a little larger of a display at a fraction of the price. Let me go ahead and actually take this off and give you all a side-by-side -side for comparison. There you go. See the thickness. It's a lot thicker than that Movado Connect, which also does not have a heart rate sensor. I do like the offset power button. I'm very interested to see what, uh, what features come with this as well. But that's it, guys. Let me know what y'all think. Is it worth it? Are you going to go pick one up for $96? Leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, guys.